Did you know that for this movie, the real Gus March Phillips was killed in action eight months following the events in this movie? So the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare was a really, really fun, action-packed Guy Ritchie film. Guy Ritchie is one of my favorite directors. Guy Ritchie just does such a great job of just giving fans such a unique, awesome, immersive experience with whatever he gives you. And I have three things in this movie that I really liked, and my last reason is my favorite. So the first thing I liked about this movie is it had a really great combination of dark humor, action, and suspense. This movie was based on true events, which makes this movie even cooler is that it actually happened and just the over-the-top action. I was talking with my friend Spencer who I went to see this movie with and we were talking about what the kill count in the movie was. We were ballparking it around about 130 or 140 people. This movie is insane when it comes to killing and when it comes to action. The suspense is really good in certain parts where you want the team to succeed and you know that at any moment something could go wrong. And what I love about movies like this, especially during the world wars, is the strategy that was involved by so many different players and you really couldn't trust anybody. The dark humor was all over the place. I mean, it's specifically between Henry Cavill and Alan Richardson's character, both of their characters were amazing, they were super funny, just there are so many dark comedic moments in the movie. That's another Guy Ritchie directing style, he just loves putting in like obscene, weird, dark comedy, but it's always so well developed. My second reason is Henry Cavill's performance as Gus Marsh Phillips was maybe the best role I've ever seen in Henry, and Henry is an amazing actor. Just the way he gets into his character in this movie, I think puts his performance as one of his best performances he's ever had. He has his awesome facial hair, but his remarks and just his overall attitude towards everything is just, in a way, it's kind of charming, but it's also just like funny as heck and out of nowhere and kind of screwed up, honestly. I mean, his attitude is everything. I mean, just, he kills so many people and he does it with a smile on his face. He always has dark comedic moments between people. He has all these weird fixations. He says some weird stuff at times, but you, you kind of just like, oh, that's okay, because that's what his character is supposed to be like. I knew from the trailers that he would be my favorite character in this movie, and he definitely was by far. And my last reason, which is my favorite reason, is my favorite scene in this movie was when the team had to rescue Appleyard from the German prison. Appleyard was a guy who was basically the planner. Just the amount of violence and death and over the top action and just the sheer chaotic mess of this entire scene was just amazing. It was just, it was just so much fun to watch. Because you knew right away that nothing was going to go according to plan, they would have to improvise. And of course the Germans aren't paying attention, but when they get involved, it just goes, it just goes crazy. Like everything just blows up and people are dying left and right. And, and it, it was just a very chaotic scene, but a very, very fun scene and easily my favorite scene in this movie. So I highly recommend go see the Ministry of Ungentlemanly Warfare as soon as you possibly can, because it's a really awesome movie. So for this movie, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 mud flaps, and remember to leave me a thumbs up and drop in the comments below. What's your favorite movie about World War II? See you next time.